With the clock ticking on his presidency, President Joe Biden has taken a decisive step to confront one of America's most pressing crises by signing a significant new executive order to combat the surge in gun violence. Unveiled on Thursday, this order establishes an Emerging Firearms Threats Task Force focused on addressing the dangers posed by machine gun conversion devices and the rise of unserialized 3D printed guns. Motorola Razr 50 Ultra flipped the script. Hello, Moto. Biden emphasized the devastating impact of machine gun conversion devices, which can convert handguns into fully automatic firearms. The executive order also directs federal agencies to develop guidelines for schools concerning active shooter drills, aimed at reducing the potential psychological harm to students. Vice President Kamala Harris expressed her commitment to the Second Amendment while advocating for measures such as a ban on assault weapons, universal background checks, and safe storage laws. Last year, she was appointed to oversee the nation's first federal gun violence prevention office, focusing on curbing gun-related deaths, particularly in Black and Latino communities. Gun access has become a polarizing issue in the presidential campaign, with former President Donald Trump accusing Harris of wanting to confiscate firearms during a recent debate. Harris firmly rejected this claim, highlighting that she and her running mate, Tim Walls, are both gun owners. In a separate development, Biden signed a three-month funding bill to avert a government shutdown extending federal funding until December 20th. This stopgap measure, passed by bipartisan majorities in both the House and Senate, allocates an additional $231 million for the Secret Service to support protective operations for the upcoming 2024 presidential campaign and national security events. The signing of the funding bill delays a more comprehensive discussion on government spending until after the November elections, allowing Biden to focus on pressing policy initiatives amidst a charged political landscape.